Hi friends, I am Dr. Shweta Karlapudi, obstetrician and gynecologist, practicing infertility specialist at Sanjeevni Hospital, Pune. So today we are going to discuss about some myths of PCOS, that is polycystic ovarian disease. So people say that this condition is a rare condition. This is a myth actually. PCOD is becoming so common nowadays that every two out of 22 women are affected by this PCOD. And this incidence is going to increase day by day due to our abnormal lifestyle, sedentary lifestyle and stressful jobs. Second important myth is that you will get to know if you have PCOS. How do you know that you are, go you are suffering from PCOS? There are various symptoms. And in the OPD also, many patients present with different different symptoms but the reason behind this is pcod so now i'll tell you some of the symptoms of pcos when you experience these symptoms you need to visit your gynecologist first and the foremost is most of the patients come with irregular menses so the reason for this irregular menses is that in pcod the ovary is not functioning properly so that is the reason why the ovulation doesn't occur at the proper time. If the ovulation doesn't happen, you will not get your menses in the proper time. And here the problem starts. So this abnormally functioning ovary where the ovulation doesn't happen properly, these small follicles which are there and which does not mature and become ovulated, these small follicles produce a lot of bad hormones in your body, male type of hormones in your body. So this is how the symptoms of PCOS develops. These male hormones called as androgens, when they are increased in our body, females will have hirsutism, that is unwanted facial hair, hair development in male areas, like hair on the chest, hair on the belly, and hair on your face. This is not normal for a female. So this is what we call as hirsutism. This can develop in a lady who is having PCOD. And sometimes, because of these androgens, the hormonal changes will happen and people will develop acne. Some patients will have male pattern baldness, that is they lose hair in the uh, center of the head. And there is dark patches on your neck and where the folds are there in our body like axilla, groin. So these velvety dark patches that develop on your neck is called as acanthosis migratans. And some patients develop infertility, subfertility, infertility because the egg development is not proper in these females. So these are all the short term symptoms or short term problems that a lady faces with PCOS, but long-term complications also can happen like because of this abnormal male hormones, increased insulin resistance caused by this PCOS, the insulin hormone is there, but the functioning is not there. That's the reason why the glucose levels in your body are high, like a diabetic patient. In future, you can develop diabetes, high blood pressure, heart diseases, obesity. This is what we call as metabolic syndrome. So these are the long-term complications of PCOS. So we have to find these symptoms. If anyone, any lady is developing such kind of symptoms, she need to consult her gynecologist as early as possible. So only irregular periods is not a symptom of PCOD. And actually PCOD, when we see on ultrasound, the ovaries with these small, small, small follicles which are arranged in the ovary can be seen clearly. Sonography diagnosis is also not sufficient. So along with sonography, if you have irregular menses and symptoms due to androgens like acne, acanthosis nigricans, hirsutism, unwanted facial hair, if you have all these symptoms, then we categorize this patient as having PCOD. So then another myth is that if you don't want pregnancy, if I don't want pregnancy and I am suffering with PCOS, I need not get treated. This is actually a misconception because PCOS is itself does not cause only infertility problem. As I have told you previously, there are many problems created by PCOD like obesity. In future, you can develop diabetes, hypertension and heart problems and this acne and all. So that is the reason why whenever you have PCOD, irrespective of you want to become pregnant or not, you should get treated with PCOS. And now friends, let us see uh, the treatment of PCOS. So one of the myths of the treatment is that just losing weight. 
will treat my PCOD. One of the important treatment part is losing weight and doing exercise and all, but this is not sufficient because PCOD is a body's tendency. PCOD usually happens due to genetic predisposition. So every female doesn't develop PCOS. Every obese lady does not have PCOS. Nowadays, in our OPD, we are seeing thin patients also suffering from PCOD. This is due to the genetic predisposition, especially in the Asian population. So that is the reason why those women who are suffering from PCOS, for them, lifestyle changes are recommended by the doctor. Lifestyle changes are nothing but you should avoid sitting for long hours. You should start doing exercise at least 30 to 40 minutes, at least five days in a week. And your diet should not contain a lot of carbohydrate. So what happens if the carbohydrate is consumed? Finally, the carbohydrate is broken down to glucose. When this glucose is there in excessive amounts in our body, as I have told you, in PCOS, there is insulin resistance. And if you consume a lot of carbohydrate, it will increase the chances of or it will increase the resistance inside you. And you can develop diabetes later on. So to prevent the long-term complications, reduce your carbohydrate intake. Carbohydrates are nothing but rice, wheat, all these things. So all the foods, like white in color, I tell my patients, the foods which look white, like sugar, maida, rava, poha, or white bread, rice, all these products are high sources of carbohydrate. They should be avoided. And then your doctor, you have to ask your doctor the treatment options that you have. First, suppose a patient comes to me with irregular menses suffering from PCOS. I'll try to treat her PCOS along with treating her irregular menses. Or if a patient comes to me with infertility, PCOS is treated at the same time, we will try to give them ovulation inducing medications so that the ovulation happens in the proper time. And this lady can easily conceive. So those women actually who is having PCOS, in the initial days of uh, her menstrual cycle, we will give ovulation inducing medicines. We'll do the ovulation study. We'll see whether her egg is developing properly or not. And then we will tell them the fertile period. Because when they uh, try during this fertile period, the chances of getting pregnant is very, very high. And uh, when a woman comes to me with androgenic symptoms, then we will treat this PCOS. And also medications were given to control their acne, acanthosis nigricans, their hair loss. So that is why the treatment is oriented to the patient symptoms. We can't treat every patient in the same way. So you have to ask your doctor the options of the treatment that you have and the best possible treatment that you can get. But first and the foremost, always lifestyle changes are very, very important to prevent the long-term complications of PCOS. So friends, I think this video is useful to you. And thank you so much for giving me this opportunity.